Hello Collective, this is Rasta Gal, aka Angelic Empress. Welcome you to my channel. Just wanted to share some downloads with my collective. Hope everybody's feeling good, doing good. Remember you are blessed, you are blessed, you are blessed. Mm -mm -mm. Encouragement to keep your head up, keep moving forward. No matter what your circumstances look, situations that you're going through, don't give up, collective. Keep moving forward because you never know where you'll be within next week, next month, next year. So don't give up, okay? Just lighten some Palo Santo to send some cleansing, blessing, and healing to my collective. Cleansing and blessing over my messages, over my deck. <laughs> They're going to need it. My deck and just to whoever can relate to this message. Healing, cleansing, and protection. Okay, but definitely cleansing to whoever again can relate to my uh, my my message. So I woke up uh, this morning and saw myself doing a reading, and I said, "Yeah, it's time." <laughs> my ancestors, spirit guides, was telling me, "Get on it. You got a message <laughs> to deliver." Yes, I do. This happened. This past week, my downloads I received, uh, the last message I left was pertaining to um, my current message that's there. Definitely check it out down below. It's pertaining to the men. It's pertaining to the men. Okay. So, collective, I, uh, I download, I'm getting right into it. Anything you want to know about me will be um, down below for a personal reading. If you want a free reading, check that down below, uh, what you um, have to do. And if you want anything from my personal spiritual store, a lot of spiritual goodies, go down there, check it out, get familiar, bless, cleanse, and protect yourself collective, okay? <laughs> I'm just a messenger, collective. I'm just a messenger. So um, one of the downloads I got, it's like I had two downloads back to back and it was deep. And then I, I got one this morning too. That was kind of disturbing. But um, I saw myself underground and I felt like I was in a laboratory but it was underground, like a school kind of laboratory. And at the same time, like a daycare, you know, it was weird. And I saw familiar faces underground. It was like um, family that was under, under there. It was people I used to work with um, was also there. And I don't know, I felt like I was like, either part of the family or just part like a worker there. Cause I wasn't like bound um, with anything on me or stuck anywhere, caged up or nothing. But I saw myself just walk in the halls underground and I saw something disturbing and it was pertaining to incest, you know, with two females. Then I saw I ran from that and saw myself going to like a laboratory room and whoever was uh, watching over like everybody or everything, whoever was the corporate, um, walked past the hallway and it was like a mirror where you could see outside, but like the shadow. You can see from the outside, but it'll just show shadow figures. 
but they could see you from the inside out. And the person walked past, but they stopped. They, they backtracked and walked back to look at me. And then whatever they had in their hand, they gave it to me, but it was through the window. But it, it reminded me of a mirror. You know that matrix part where he got sucked into the mirror? It was like that. I don't know which matrix uh, part that was from. But y'all feel me, whoever's matrix fans, <laughs> or just know the movies, the series. Um, they gave me something in my hand to deliver, but it, like I said, they gave it to me through the window and I quickly uh, just went upstairs to the next floor. But the incest part, of course, is pertaining to people you know, your kin, your family. I saw that going on again between the same sex. And it was like, their handler was, you know, making the helpers, whoever was their helpers, he was, she was forcing them to submit, you know, um, and to be, you know, held in captive to do their bidding with a kiss. So I saw like people being forced to kiss each other. It was so weird and creepy. Um, I don't, I didn't see myself or recall myself going through that, but I went upstairs to deliver either a child to the management upstairs who was controlling that second floor, or it was an animal. Um, I saw three animals in a cage and they were all, uh, three different colors, gray, black, and white. Um, the gray one looked deformed. Uh, when it was in the cage, the black one looked like a black cat, but it was a rabbit, but it had the eyes of a cat. And the white rabbit was looking very pure and um, kind of angelic. Mm -hmm. And it had blue eyes, pink nose, and long eyelashes. It was so weird. And when I went um, to observe and just look around, you know, the management that I was familiar with or working around was controlling or patrolling, you know, the second floor with the kids. So it looked like a classroom slash laboratory as well. And I went to go touch the white rabbit and I got so much energy from the rabbit and it was a positive energy. And what came to me was like, it was transporting a message to me saying to escape, you know, to run. And I went downstairs and just had the urge to, I guess, go to different cells to free the slaves, whoever was captive under the tunnel, bonded, you know, in their mind and their spirit and soul under the tunnel. And it was of men. And I saw a whole bunch of them following me, okay? And I heard the chains and I took them to a certain room. It was like I knew where I was and I led them to a certain room to escape. Um, and I just was helping them trying to break the chains that was on them. And they were also helping each other. At the same time, they were looking back because I just felt another energy was coming to catch us and to keep the men captive. But I also would have been more in trouble because, <laughs> you know, I was working there, I guess, or I was just there to be the leader to help them to escape. Um, when I saw like a little hole in the wall and I just, it was like boarded and I just busted open to see the sunlight, to see the skies, to see life, to see the world, civilization you know, pretty much, um, instead of under the tunnel, which was like, a, which was like hell, it was like an illusion that everybody was stuck and trapped in. Um, and I literally was leading the way. I was freeing these men. Could have been women in a group too, but I remember freeing the men. 
I escaped through the hole and I was showing him how to bust the chains and I escaped and I remember reaching my hand back and I just felt like the men did not have any energy. I felt like they were zapped of their energy to continue to free themselves to get out. And I was literally showing them how to do it, to get through that hole, to free them to the tunnel. And it just stopped. And I continued to run when I escaped and got out of the hole. And the thing that came to me was running to report, running somewhere for safety for myself. And I end up in a, a car maintenance place, I guess, to get a car. And a manager that was working under the tunnel appeared there. It was weird. And I felt like I was being watched. And she, like, found me, but she was watching me to see what next moves I was going to make. But I was trying to get a vehicle, I guess, to, like, really go. Um... I don't know if I was running through woods or if I was running through like a city. Crazy dream, right? That was deep. <laughs> oh my gosh. So that's where that message from men came from. What I got out of that message when I was, you know, just sharing it with my children, I felt like I was the Harriet Tubman in that scenario in my dreams because it was underground and she was like one of the a strong warrior and leader female wise to lead people to freedom and to and out of slavery whether that was in their from their minds being held captive and caged bonded and chained physically mentally emotionally spiritually i felt like i was that harriet tubman deep right collective follow me so when i saw the group of men and it was like agreeing and we was working as a team to escape it's all about the mind it is all about the mind once you get out of that slave mentality you're free collective and you won't be bondage. in bondage and in chains. Spiritually, I'm freeing myself when I deliver these messages. Everything I do in my life, every move and every step I take, I'm freeing myself. I'm here on this platform to help free my collective, to help free anybody that's going through this slave mentality, anybody that's going through anything in your life. I am here to help the masses. I am here to help and deliver healing through my messages. Collective. That is That was a deep message for me. I am healing my lineage. I am healing my generation from 400, 4,000 years ago. And I'm going to continue to heal, moving forward, collective. So that's what my, my first dream was about. That was deep. And energies don't want, <laughs> they don't want that. They don't want me to continue doing what I'm doing because I am freeing my history, my lineage, family lineage at that. For many past things that are that are happening or going, I just feel my ancestors are saying to keep doing what you're doing, to keep freeing the consciousness and the subconsciousness of yourself as well as the collective. I am here to bring enlightenment to get out of the matrix, taking one step at a time, waking up people one step at a time, even my damn self. I am the Harriet Tubman. Isn't that deep collective? Like I almost cried 
after I thought about it in another way. This is like so deep. The messenger is real, true. Messengers, the warriors, the soldiers that are delivering and waking up the collective, working with the masses, the real true ones, the authentic ones. We are the Harriet Tubman's here on this platform and also on this universe. And my encouragement to everyone that is authentic, that has a platform on this YouTube channel. Continue, because I'm going to continue. Y'all encourage me. I'm also going to encourage y'all. I'm not about that how many subscribers and family and whatever you have and whatever you're doing. I'm not all about that. I'm here to just deliver the message in my own way. We're all connected. We're all throwing out the same message in just a different way. The universe and the celestial realms, the angels, the spiritual world know who is real and who is fake. Who is throwing out illusions out there? And who is not? That was my download. <laughs> Collective. That was some deep shit. My gosh. I have to burn some Palo Santo. Yeah, so... Continue to move forward again, Collective. Continue to just <laughs> try to keep uh, um, your mind stayed on, on God and just the positive and what you want to see, what you want to occur or happen. Because, again, the opposite or opposing energies don't like it. And they're going to continue to fight. They're going to continue to hold on. They're going to continue not to want to let go. Okay, but their ass is about to be grass. Seriously, they're going to burn. I saw that word today, but it wasn't literally saying that. But I saw burn on a uh, bulletin board. Mm -hmm. After seeing so many sevens, mm -hmm. I saw burn. And after writing everything I did, I just also wrote death to mortals like i just felt like i had to write that i felt that so their time is coming if it hasn't already whoever is coming against my collective causing illusions to my angels to my my seers out there to my priests and priestess the real ones to my empaths and star seeds, to the shamans out there, healers out there, everyone that's on a high frequency and being real with themselves and in their lives and trying to make a difference within themselves first, then to the collective, and you keep getting... <laughs> These downloads and getting attacked, I'm telling you, the universe is showing us everything behind closed doors and what's going on. <laughs> don't think, don't think y'all getting away with it. Whoever is causing illusions, don't think y'all getting away with it. Trust me, everything is being written down. Everything is being taken note of. Everything is being recorded. I've mentioned this before in previous videos. I've been in spiritual court to be a witness. It is real. Collective. And people won't know or won't learn. And they, won't, they don't care until they're called to the courts. Until they're called on trial. I'm just doing what I what I was called to do. And I'm going to continue to do so. 
collective. So yeah, that was the message for the first download. The other download that I got after getting up and just cleansing and purifying my energy and you know, just sending that back to sender and just feeling sleepy again and just relaxed. <laughs> and I heard uh, voices and it was in my uh, my family language, the Patwa language. And I literally heard <laughs> someone say, There's laws. There is laws. You can't do that. There is laws. And they said after that, a children of God or a child of God, and then it blurred out. <laughs> so this is relating to, this, these two messages is relating to being a curse breaker from your family lineage and just from your family. I'm talking again to all the black sheeps out there, to all the people that was dismissed, that was pushed to the side, that was left and felt abandoned, that wasn't loved <laughs> in the right way, like you should have. That was hurt and scold and punish worse than anybody else in the family. And you know, as a black sheep, you see through the veil, you see through the bullshit, and you stood up for yourself. You even stood up for your for your uh for the enemy. You even stood up for the people that literally turned around and, and, and hurt you. You stood up for them to protect them. But in return they gave you their ass to kiss. They talked in front of your face or behind your back and belittled you. You got verbally and physically hurt. Purposely, sometimes for no reason. I'm talking to the black sheeps out there at this time that are kicking ass on the spiritual realm, 5D and on 3D, standing your ground. You see this fire burning really high? You are on fire for your purpose, for your passion. Turn it around and heal. And not taking no shit. I'm talking to those black sheep. This did not want to stop burning. That are here on this earth to break general curses. That's who I'm talking to at this time and at this point. Hmm. <laughs> So I saw heard family talking in the background again. This is my second time hearing someone from my culture talking stuff. <laughs> and that's why I said in the beginning, no weapon formed against me or my collective shall prosper. Yes, there are laws. Yes, I am a child of God and I am an angel. Claiming that. I am because I believe in love. Unconditional love. People are breaking the commandments. People are breaking the universal laws. Yes, those are rules. Those are rules that people is going to be on trial for and have to answer to. Their ass is going to be sent to purgatory. Mm -hmm. 
I saw the letter nine in my dream and that usually, um, that's a special ranking. That's a special number. It's powerful. It is associated with forgiveness. It is associated with compassion and being successful on a positive side. Okay. It also represents completion. Things are being dismantled. Things are being completed. <laughs> it's a cardinal number. So these could be cardinal signs that are dibbling and dabbling into things against my collective, against me. Mm -hmm. Number nine also associates with communication and wisdom and experiences. Okay. It represents new beginnings. It's also uh, talks about fulfilling and moving to the next level, to the next one, to the next thing. Mm -hmm. I felt like, and I think this happened on a Wednesday when I had this dream, back to back. I felt like after I heard the voice and what they said, and I don't know what they was looking through. And then um, I saw the number nine. I felt like an energy was trying to push me. They was trying to push me back. Spiritually, it was trying to just push me backwards. And I felt another energy pushing me forward. And I felt like... I said in my dream, stay in the present moment. Stay in the present moment. And oh no, I'm pushing myself forward. I'm moving forward. Isn't that crazy, collective? This spiritual battles, these spiritual warfare, the spiritual realms is no joke. No joke. You're trying to play on your family history or your family lineage, tapping into your energy and aura. Oh, they're in for a treat, all right, from my ancestors, from my spiritual family. I have a whole army that is after y'all ass. Whoever's doing this. I had an energy push me forward. It was like, oh, no. <laughs> You've been, you, you've done too much. You've came so far to turn around. Uh-uh. You're moving forward, hon. <laughs> yeah. Nine also um, talks about, again, recognition of life and going with the ebb and flow. It is a psychic and physic number of determination you know, to continue to move on and progress on your chosen path. They were trying to push me back either nine years ago, nine months ago, nine weeks ago, nine days ago. They're trying to, they was trying to push me back. But collective, stay in the present moment. And I'm going to stay in the present moment. I'm going to enjoy each and every day of my life. And that's my encouragement to you, Collective, to enjoy every moment and every day. Stay in the present moment and go with the ebb and flow in your life at this time. Like I said, if things are upside down, you know, things are not going as planned, you know, if you're, you're working... And doing your best. Ask for assistance. Ask for protection. Ask for things to be seen through the veil. Ask for things to be cut out of your path, out of your life, out of your way. You call these archangels because they're massive. They're huge. 
You call these angels to come down to help you, to cut through the bullshit that energies and people and just whatever things that they're throwing at you your way. Return that shit 50 times fold. And you continue to move forward through the mud. You continue to move forward. Until you become and until you fulfill your every need with God's help. It is God's time. It is God's plan for us to do things right, to do things accordingly, but to do things right by the books and move forward and watch him bless. I'm giving these energies and entities to God, to the heavens. I'm giving them to them to make the call and to cause whatever they need to cause. Havoc. My goons will chop off heads. I guess, again, they they just don't care. They just don't care until life or death comes upon these energies or people. They will not learn until it gets to that point. They're going to learn today. I'm not causing or calling judgment on nobody. I'm just telling you like it is. And I'm telling you that the this, this, this spiritual realm, they have no mercy once you're called <laughs> on trial. And once you have to serve, whatever you have to serve, there's no timing up there. So it could be for eternity. Whatever is done down here and it's not done right, you will serve that up in or down in, in hell, down in Pregatory Collective. I'm not a judge, I'm just a messenger. <laughs> I am just a messenger. It's nothing more precious than life. Life itself. No one has the right and no one has the authority to call judgment on a body's life but God. And unless you are a literally a judge here on this earth with a degree, or you have that ranking in the spiritual realm to do so. They give you permission to do so. I'm, I'm pretty much calling things out. And if they give me the right to make that judgment call, I will. And I have. Collective. It is no joke out here on these spiritual streets. Completion is occurring and happening. Yes, the full moon's coming up. And people are still going to be whipping it out. Don't know that they're causing these stripes and these whips for themselves. I had another disturbing dream and I'm going to let y'all go. So I have to get this out. A dream that, I don't know, like... I saw a whole group of people on a computer and it was like they were in a building, but they were like, it was a cubicle. Again, I'm referring to the matrix when you saw those buildings and people just crashing in into them and running in through the walls and through the cubicles of buildings. But I saw something like that and a whole bunch of computers. So people are watching, people are taking notes, okay? Things are being recorded on both ends, 3D and 5, 5D. People think they're getting away with things, but records are being recorded. They are being piled up case by case by case. But anyway, I dreamed that <laughs> I was given something and also people was giving a certain kind of pill, 
some kind of noodle or some type of food substance to take. And it looked weird. My gosh. Pretty much like the Matrix. When he was given something and was forced to take it. And it was literally a bug. My gosh. That just came to me. We are in the Matrix Collective. For real, for real. Mm. I saw myself escaping from the building and I saw a dog. Pretty much it was like a, a Matrix dog watching. And I saw his neck. He was laying in the grass in a field. The grass was probably fake, I'm sure. But it was so pretty and clean and clear and cut. But he was laying in the grass waiting. And when I ran from the building to jump different sidewalks to escape, whatever was going on inside that building and in that cubicle, he was waiting. I saw two bite marks on the neck. So yes, it was a matrix, probably a, a, uh, a vampire type of dog. Looked like a regular canine police dog to guard the premises. When I saw that dog, I ran back. Mm -hmm. Then I saw a spaceship. But then it shrunk down on top of the building into like a toy alien spaceship. And I saw energies coming from that to go inside the building. And then the lights went out and people that was at the computer working hard at their computers it was like old school computers, white computers. I just saw a lot of green stuff on it. So yes, the matrix pretty much either the people that knows what's going on was talking through the matrix to save other people and other energies was coming after them to catch them or it was the opposite. But yes, energies was coming to get them and the computers went out, the electricity went out. I ran to escape. And that guard dog was there. This is about to get a little vulgar and graphic, but again, this has a message to it, okay? At this point, I'm letting you know if you want to click off, you can. Just warning you ahead of time. I couldn't go back in there because I knew what was going to happen if I would if I would have got caught. So I found myself running, and I saw other people running behind me, or it was ahead of me. It was one guy running ahead of me, and he must have got caught because I end up jumping on a car. I don't know if I was trying to get a phone, to get a hold of something, to escape, but I jumped up on a car because the dog came after me. The other guy must have got caught, and all I could hear is whips. So the dog caught that guy and continued to whip him. Alive. He was whipping him alive, collective. He was just covered in blood and was whipping him. And that's all I was hearing. He couldn't scream. He couldn't say anything anymore. Because he was, he was pretty much numb from the pain. So that, to me, signified hitting a dead horse. Or that saying, they say, whipping a dead horse. So situations that are going on, we have to keep moving forward. We can't keep trying to force people. We can't keep trying to bring people along on our own journeys and just what we're going through with our healing journeys. We got to continue to heal for ourselves. We got to continue to move forward. And that's if... And, and it, it just goes to say, even if we have to leave people behind. 
But that guy must have got caught up in the rapture and he was just getting abused by the dog. The dog was literally just whipping him like a person, but it was a dog. Ruthless. These energies and entities don't care. Collective. They want you get they want to get you caught up and they want to keep you in bondage collective. You got to move on. We all got to keep moving forward. So yeah, that was my that, that was my downloads collective. That was deep, right? <laughs> oh my gosh. That was a that was a nightmare pretty much to see. But that's how it is in the, in the underworld. They have no mercy for people that do what they do. The people that are doing their bidding, they have no mercy for y'all. Once they're done with you, they're done. So my encouragement to the collective is to, again, stay in your own lanes, mind your business, drink your waters, and keep moving forward. People that are doing you wrong, they're going to get what, what's coming to them. Just give it to God, collective. Give it to God. Till next time. Take care.